my name is Mustafa. Today I want to show you how you can design a PID controller using TI port on Symmatic 7300 system. We first open TI portal. I'm using version 13 here. So we go to device and uh, device configuration. As you can see here, I've configured the PLC before. And if we go to the network view, the system we have here um, are consisting of the main PLC and distributed I.O. I'm using backup, uh, backup distributed I.O. just to read uh, the temperature from, uh, the, uh, from the sensor and then to send back the control signal from the PLC to, to the lamp. I mean, you can have analog input and output but directly on the CPU, so it's the same case. Uh, but this is just a test system we have here. So the only, the most important thing you need to know about all this configuration is the input and output address um, uh, for the sensor to read the data and for the actuator to send back the control signal. So as we can see here, we have the input on 260. So we're reading the temperature data from PIW260 and we send back the control signal to 256. So these two parameters are very important, the analog input and the analog output. So we go back to our program. So we go to program blocks, we open it and we go to main. Now we will start programming. PID. Uh, first of all, uh, you should know that you should keep in mind that you cannot use directly the data you're reading from the sensor. So you should you should scale it. I mean, if the temperature of the room is 25, the sensor will read 250. Our sensor, at least, we have we be using PT100, I suppose. So we have to scale it to have the real temperature. To do this, I've designed a FC1 block. It's just a normal scalar. So we're reading actually, say from 250 as a minimum value that sensor gives to, to 700. And then we're scaling to 25 and 70. So the data in is the Analog input actually we're reading from our sensor, as I showed you earlier, it's PIW260. So it is our input data. And then this value actually is a process value. This is the value you have to give it to the controller, uh, then design the controller. So I put it in MD100. I just named it before as a PV process value. Uh, so now, design the controller. If you go to technology and then PID control, and you have PID basic control, we're using the simplest PID controller in the MTI portal. The first one is called continuous controller. We'll take it and drop it here. So we accept the default name for data block and then OK. So as you can see here, we have the control block. It has a lot of inputs and outputs. Uh, you don't need to use all of them. Uh, the most necessary are the, the process value and the set point. Of course, the control signal which you send out to the real world. And then you have an input called the manual on, so you should have it in automatic mode. If you want to have the controller working, you should have it in automatic mode. So we start with process value, uh, which we read here is PV or MD100 here. So it's called MD100. So note that we are using PV in. And then we have set point. So we're assigning MD118. So it's quite arbitrary. 
and then you have LMN as a control signal. I take MD one hundred ten so as a control signal. Yeah. There yeah, is all you need to have here, and then yes, you have this uh, manual input. You sign M0.0 .0 to be able to control our controller between zero between manual and automatic. Yeah, and now this control signal is between zero and one hundred. You have to scale it to have it between zero and thirty-two thousand seven hundred sixty-seven. And then send it to, to the lamp we have here to control the luminance of the lamp. So we go to the next network. I designed another block. It does the scaling as well. So as you can see here, the input value is between one, 0 and 100. And the output value can be between 0 and 32,767. And the data input is actually the control signal we're running from the controller and the output is PQW256 this is our output it goes to back of distributed IO and that will apply to the lamp so that's all about our controller we save the project we do a compile and we download. So we accept all, download the device, all right, all right, delete. We have the old program in the PLC, so we just delete all and then load. All finish. So we go online, see what's happening. First of all, we have to check our input. So, as you can see, we're running 256, 257 and 6, so which is the temperature of the room. We have the lamp off. So that's the normal temperature. So the, the real temperature is 25.6. So if you see the block works and then we have the process value as 25.6. So this is the real temperature we will go, we're giving to your controller. So if we scroll down, then we have our controller set point is zero and process value is 25.7. And then this control signal, which is zero. Now, as you can see here, the manual input is zero, so it means that the controller in, is in automatic mode. So we don't have any control signal. I mean, the set point is zero. And since the process value is bigger than the set point, then we don't have any control signal. Notice that we don't need to change or like assign P and I parameter at this moment. The, the controller is using initial values actually in a data block. So and later I will show you how you will uh, later I will show you how you can uh, use uh, the commissioning toolbox to design your P and I and the control uh, parameter to have a better control over your lamp. So yeah, we change our set point to say forty. And if you see, if you look at the lamp, you change the controller to 40. And if you look at the lamp, yes, if you look, so we have full luminance in the lamp because uh, we have process value as 27, we have set point 40, we have a big gap, and then based on the P parameter, we had in the controller, the controller decide to send the full control signal to the lamp. So we wait a little bit as the process value goes up and it reaches that point then we have a decrease in control signal control the luminance of the lamp 
and then have a fixed temperature round. So as you can see, we have uh, zero for the control signal because we crossed over, we have crossed over set point. Now we're 40 point nine. As it goes down, the controller will calculate and go up. We have integrator is too fast, so we have to change the integ integrator to have a little bit slower. And maybe plus and uh, uh, the the PIP parameter can be increased. So if you can see that, now we have 40, 40. So it's going down for this 39.8, and the control is going up very fast. So now we go to our commissioning part to show you how you can fine tune your controller. Now we go to commissioning part to fine tune the controller. So we start the process of tuning. So we can hide the element, the output. Then we can compare just the set point and the process value. It's not of interest, at least now. So we zoom a little bit. And then 100%. Yeah, now we have a better look. As you can see, here, they're quite close. So, uh, but um, if you compare the process value with the set point, so you have a kind of oscillation uh, plus minus one degree is not very much either, but we can anyway change our uh, I parameter. We make it like now it's 20 seconds, we make it 200. And then we have send parameter to CPU option. So we send the parameters to the CPU. And then we can check the controller how it reacts. So we have 39.5.4. Now it's integrating up. Still too fast. We make it 500 percent per meter. So it's better now. Uh, not actually better. We can change our PIP controller. So we make it 20 instead. Send per meter to controller. Now we should have a better control. So if you see here, we have plus minus 0 0.5 are lost. And we have changed the luminance of the lamp to control the temperature around. So, and later, when you decide about your parameters, you can close this window and then assign your P and I directly in here. You have gain and you have TI, so you can assign them directly. Here, up here, you have P selection, I selection, and D selection. So, by default, P selection is true, I selection is true, and D selection is false. It means that um, uh, in general you have PI controller. If you want to have D controller as well, you can change it true, then you have a PI D controller. When you found your uh, P and I and D parameter, you can assign them directly in here. Gain, TI, and T. I hope you liked the video, and uh, if you feel like uh, you need example to go in detail on how I programmed it, so don't hesitate to contact me, and email to me, or give me a comment, then I will send you the example. Thank you very much.